Hello everyone! Last time I told you this puzzle, there was a metre cane, and along this cane I spread 100 mathematical ants. Some were facing that way, some were facing that way, and they were walking along this cane at a speed of 1 metre per minute. When two ants were walking towards each other, they would collide, they would turn around and then start to walk back the way they came at 1 metre per minute. And I asked you, how long would it take 100 ants to fall off the ends of this cane? Now you see, the thing is, these ants are identical. So when they walk towards each other, hit each other, turn around, walk back, that's the same as if they did this. They walk towards each other, and they pass through each other, as if they were ghost ants. So they can just walk through the other ant. So effectively, they can just walk off straight off the end of the cane. So an ant in the center would take 30 seconds to walk off the cane. An ant at the far end, if he had to walk the whole length, would take a minute to walk off the end of the cane. So it would take somewhere between 30 seconds and a minute. Now, my friend Rob Eastway told me this when it blew my mind. He's an author, he does loads of things like this. If you like that, check out his books, I'll put them in the description. Uh, we've had a couple of puzzles recently, so I'll be back next time with something different. And if you have been, thanks for watching.